second round action here at the Victor China Open. After that men's doubles, we turn our attention to women's singles and the two-time defending champion, the former world and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin of Spain, up against girl from G of China. Well, as far as Carolina Marin is concerned, she's in the top half of the draw. She won the two times that the event here in Changzhou has been a Super 1000 event and in 2018 and 19 of course it's the first time in four years that the Babington World Tour has come back to China. Now you can see that the newly crowned world champion An Se Young she's got through so too has Han Yue and Tai Su Ying She's also through to the quarter-final stage, and Tai Su Ying awaits the winner of this match. And remember, at the recent World Championships, Carolina Marin beat Tai Su Ying in the quarter-final stage. So this will be a fifth meeting between these two players, and of the previous four, Carolina Marin has won three of them. It won't be happy memories for Gao Fangji because the last time they played, which was way back in 2019, Gao Fangji snapped her Achilles tendon in that second game against Carolina Marin. And ironically, the very next week in Indonesia, uh, Carolina Marin uh, then uh, ruptured her ACL, uh, anterior cruciate ligament. So uh, these two players back in 2019 absolute catastrophic injuries so it's absolutely wonderful to see them both back on court Gao Fangji taking longer to return to the elite tier of tournaments on the HSBC BWF World Tour but this is the two-time defending champion Carolina Marin Five years ago, she beat Chen Fei in the final, and four years ago, Tai Su Ying. And the second time that she won this title was only her second tournament back after surgery on her ACL. 30 years of age, as you can see, born in Huelva in Spain. Five foot eight, currently six on the world ranking, but did spend 66 weeks as world number one. A beat Su Wenqi of Chinese Taipei in two straight games. And she's had a remarkable year so far. Five finals from 11 tournaments played, winning two titles. So to her opponent, Gao Fangji will turn 25 later this month from Nanjing, here in Jiangsu province. And uh, she's currently 26 on the world ranking, the sixth ranked Chinese player. Uh, but back in 2018, in September as well, uh, she reached her career high of 13. Japanese opponent in the first round and no problems there. She was in the final of the US Open earlier this year. And I thought that really marked her Come back Ready to play. the World Tour. The US Open only a 300 events where she lost in the final to Supernida Keitong. Yeah, yeah. And there's Thompson, Carolina Marin's coach here <laughs> this yeah, week. Yeah, Find that on from India, our umpire for this one, and David Graf von Schweren from Austria is the service judge. Got both ankles and Achilles heavily strapped. Well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Go Fan G, China. And on my left, Carolina Marin, Spain. Carolina Marin to Soap, Love All. Play. So Carolina Marin, a two-time defending champion, getting this women's singles underway against Gail Fang G. Wow. Wow. One, and no. that injury to Gail Fang G, the ruptured Achilles tendon, uh, really did sort of curtail what I thought was going to be a very, very promising career for the young Chinese player. I remember back in 2017, she reached the final of the China Open in Fuzhou yeah. as a qualifier, beating her opponent of today in the semi-final, having beaten PV Sindhu in the quarter-final, eventually lost oh. out to Akane Yamaguchi. And then, of course, one injury can change a whole career. Totally. And on top of that, um, we have the pandemic and so on, so it's difficult to um, to really get the right um, treatment and right training to uh, to get back quickly. Yeah, good point. as if she was maybe going to lift it and just turn that racket head at the last moment. Yeah, just before they started the match, uh, Carolina's uh, coach in this tournament, uh, Dane Thomas Thompson, he um, said something in Spanish uh, which I actually understood. He said, uh, no quiero levantar, and that means that she doesn't want to lift. What her opponent? Yeah, yeah. Because she's playing with the drift. Yeah. And I think, and as Thompson being a Dane and, and being Thompson able to speak Spanish, I think actually after Three, he's one. said what he wants to say in Spanish, I think he should come with a little Danish translation as a service to <laughs> us here in the uh, commentary box. That only works when you're with me, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take, take it out. Sir. Hey, push it, push it outside. Carolina, Carolina. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? It long. Four, one. Well, we know Carolina Marin is in good form in the final, a fourth final at the World Championships just a couple of weeks ago. I'm a little concerned about the strapping on the left thigh of Carolina Marin. Yeah. Maybe it's hamstring, maybe it's thigh muscle. I'm not quite sure. No, we which. don't. We don't really know. Uh, but the thing is, given her injury history, I think it must be uh, something that they feel they have control over. I, I'm certain they would take no risk in um, situations like this. The uh, team around Marin. Yes, because of course she wasn't able to defend her Olympic title, which she won in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. Wow. Yeah, and picking up an injury which would 
affect her, her attempt to win a second gold yeah. in Paris. Because it's taken longer to come back from the second ACL. It was to uh, her playing leg, so to speak, her left leg. And, um, that was more severe than the first one, which was bad enough. Seven, yeah. two. I still have the text from uh, Anna Thompson. It happened in the um, daily practice in Madrid. When, uh, when she tore her second ACL, very unfortunate. Yeah, I believe it was the 28th of May, but you can check your phone. M most possibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's super. Taking it early, just guiding the shuttle across court. She's not really Nine, getting behind two, the shuttle at the back no. of the court, yeah. Galfang G. There's some of her shot movements, Galfang G, that reminds me incredibly about uh, Song Ji Hyun, the now Korean women's singles coach, but former. Strong, strong player. I thought you were going to say Li Shui Rei. That's also, Three, there's also uh, similarities there. And I feel the movement to the backhand corner, the long backhand corner, I thought that was, that was Song Ji Hyun playing there. <laughs> oh. left. She's in trouble with the drift here in the first game. Oh gosh, that was good judgment. Very good. Eleven three in So an eight point advantage for two time winner Carolina Marin. It's a very handsome lead. Eight. So now you've shown off your Spanish capabilities, Steve. Uh, can you give us a translation of uh, what was said in the coaching break there? Yeah, he said something <laughs> about... Uh, <laughs> you can't fool uh, us. It's going wrong as well. One, three. Wide. It looks to me 13, as if Galfrangi just doesn't believe she can win this at the moment. Yeah, at least not from that uh, side of the court there. She needs to get to the other side where she can play up against the drift. Play.
open wide. a very good rally from this lady, Gail van I think perhaps that was one of the things she tried um, in the rally, two rallies ago, where she played a cross that went long. Um, that could have been one of the things that uh, Lu Yigang has, um, has touched upon, the fact that you, when you're under pressure on this near side of the court, you can still play yourself out of trouble because you get help. That, there it is again. You get help from the drift. And a lot of uh, shots, perhaps, to uh, Marin's backhand side. So it's over. Probably uh, 14, five. a little too late for his first game, but you never know. No, you certainly don't. So, um, women's double was it yesterday. It was yesterday, I think. Down. Um, 14-7 coming back to win that game. I think they've been even further down at the yeah. mid-game interval. Missed it. So it's over. 6-14. Just can't control her clearance so at all one. from this near side of the court. 15, no. six. So he wasn't completely right, unless Tom Snow when he said uh, she doesn't want to lift. She wants to, but she can't do it at the no. moment. She had to let it drop quite low for the shuffle to come out of the tumble. And by the time she tried to play it, it was far too low. And from Marin's perspective, I think it's super important that she um, keeps going at full speed here in the first game to not um, give Gaofeng Ji any uh, feeling that she's about to get back into the match. Stand it in. Unsighted. Yeah. Well, Marin looked to uh, challenge, but the a backline judge didn't call. It was actually out of the sideline. Out. And the sideline judge didn't make a call at all. No. So. so a good, uh, good umpiring. Yeah. And. Um, I think yeah, also seven. previously when he was uh, telling Gao Fang Ji not to um, not to delay the game and so on, but that's been really good. Very experienced. Um, Seven. 
there's that little lapse in concentration, Steve. Yeah. So it's over. 98. It seems like the knowledge that she has problems lifting Gao Feng Ji is also affecting her other shots that, that she uh, feels she has to play them even sharper. So game so point over. opportunities. Trendy. Game point nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah. Twenty-one nine opening game. First game in favour of Carolina the defending Marin. and two-time champion Carolina nine. Marin. 21-9 confirms the umpire. And just 16 minutes of play. Muy bien, Carol. Ahora, a ver, cambia todo. Sí. Vale. Entonces tenemos ese set ya está hecho. Sí. Ahora lo tenemos que pensar. ¿Lo ha cruzado a su derecha y al fondo? No, no ha ido. No ha ido cruzado. Creo que lo que ama, atenta ahora a sus crías, me va a hacer más lo, a rectificar sobre todo. Sí, vale. Eh, no sé si va a ser otro rectificar sobre todo, porque va a ser más lo que sí. ¿Vale? Entonces, y los días de su derecha que estaba que hemos visto antes también. Sí, eso es muy posible, sí. Eh, entonces tú tienes que estar muy rápida ahora. Vale, tienes que estar más raqueta arriba y todo. Sí, porque bajamos el volante, bajamos el volante. Vale. Y va a haber puntos largos, te va a cansar. Pero ella también, no vale. pasa nada. ¿Vale? Okay. Entonces es lo que toca ahora, es, es que trabajar. Todo. Good one, 20 seconds. Good one, 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. Play. So one game to the good. Defending champion Carolina Marin. One love. Very good, Carlos. This love has been very short. Very good. As far as Gao Feng Ji is concerned, Steen, what's your recommendations? Um, take a lot of initiative. Don't believe that she can um, that she can lift and uh, play long because then this is going to happen Marin is going to take the initiative Go low. Uh, she had she has the advantage that she can play full court but she's got to be very careful using that advantage so first of all play downwards take the initiative uh, make sure that Marin can't attack her And then once in a while, you, you that's too high. Utilize the fact that she can play the backcourt. That's a beauty. Fantastic play. Three, low. Nice backhand cross-court net shot. And then look how early she took it on the forehand side. And therefore able just to guide the shuttle across court.
can see in that rally, he made Carolina Marin's plan to hit down, which is going to mean an awful lot of hard work. Yeah. Because if her opponent does as she did in that last rally, Gelfeng Ji playing Marin to the back, then blocking, making her come forward, then playing to the back again, then back to the net. That's an awful lot of running that the Spaniard's going to have to do. She is. And it's going to be important that she's got more variation on the game. That, that's working that perception there. She tried it in the uh, first game as well. Looks like she's taking her a bit backwards. The hitting motion. Um, but if, if she becomes too uh, easy to read, Marin, then uh, it's actually going to work quite nice for uh, Garth and G. Yeah. The last three rallies, she's played her to the back and brought her forward yeah. each time. I don't think the uh, attack from Marin has been 100% um, committed. And, and that um, brings her in problems. Back, front, to the back, that's going wide. Yeah. But uh, the intention, you can see the yeah, intention yeah. from Gaofeng Ju. But it's a, it's a dangerous road against uh, an attacking player. So it's basically uh, up to Marin to, to find the right solution. She's, she's going to have a lot of tries and, and I think this moving back and forth. She hasn't spent a whole lot of energy in the first game. It no. shouldn't be a problem. There it is. That's the uh, the variation, and that's going to cause Five trouble ball. for uh, Gaofeng Ji. And I think she also got to play to the forehand side once in a while. Uh, the Chinese, she's mainly been playing the backhand side here. But I think uh, Marin is on to that. Um, from what I heard, as Thompson was saying, um, she's not, probably not going to play too much to the uh, right hand side. It's going wide. The front hand side. Big pardon. Oh. The front side is the left side of Marin. Smashes. There's been the cross that was a winner, and now the body smash. Forehand cross court net shot, not the Spaniard has been down to her. Well played. So it's over. Eight, five. It's a good return, but you've got to ask yourself what was Carolina Marin hoping for as a response to that serve? A lift to the backhand, but 
But she's got to cover that one. Yeah, of course. That's my point. She had exactly the right amount of pressure on Carolina Marin. Here, Marin had a little bit too many chances, but the cross net at the end saved it all for the Chinese. Play. A good shot, but yeah, I mean, Gao Fangji is playing from mid court forward. Yep. She, she, basically, at the moment, she's not having to, to move to the back of the court at no, all. No, and that's something if they get into the these longer rallies where there's been two, both won by a cross net shot from um, Gao Fangji. That's what Marin needs to realize that when she's under pressure, she can actually play the back court because. That would normally be very difficult to get the right length when she's under pressure, but now she gets a little bit of help from the drift, so it's still possible. Play. Seven. Cross mashes uh, from the backhand has opened up for the straight smashes again. They could be very efficient. From the ring soon. to play that with a windmill sort of action. She doesn't really, I don't know if she completely mistimed it or yeah. whether she changed her mind. A very peculiar looking shot. No wonder she made the error. Can't contact the industry for a sponsor on a deal. <laughs> One to the back. Three. And to the mid game interval Double with four. a three point advantage. Carolina Ten, Marin. Eight. Interval. Well, she is working hard. I said at the beginning of this second game she'd need to work hard if she was going to basically hit down. And she's doing precisely that. Well, Carolina Marin wants the court attendant back on. Do some more mopping. No, no, no. Let it, wipe it out. Let it wipe it out, wipe it out. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah, yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. Lee? So 11-8 in the second game, having already won the first, the two-time champion, Carolina Marin. Twelve, eight. Oh, that's a beauty. Absolute beauty. Well, you don't get more accurate than that. Hits the top of the tape and goes over. Take a look at this. Perfection. Just inside the line. Yeah. No, she's challenging that. Yeah, she is. Maybe a tactical challenge. Challenge? Challenge? He's in doubt. Yeah. He doesn't I like again that he asked the player. In. Well, I can understand why he had to ask because she was she wasn't definite enough. No. Well, that's plum on the line. I thought it was just inside the line. Challenge no unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 14, 8. Wait. Oh, lucky neck cord. Yeah. Deflected the flight path of the shuttle. Made it difficult to defend. But she's got to take uh, some more initiative, Garfield G, otherwise. Uh, she can only hope that Marin's game is breaking down. She's got to try and help her do that. Seven of the last eight points. Carolina Marin. Five straight points. Oof, that's a little wild. So it's over. To the Nine, body, to the left uh, hip of uh, Dalfine G there. That would have been um, a great shot. It's safe. I think that's just about the first outright winner she's hit from the back of the court, isn't yeah. it? I can't remember any previous. playing Repeat. conditions against PV Sindhu in Canada Open Gaofeng Ji and lost and then she came down to um, sea level in um, where was it it was playing Omaha or something in US Open and and won against Sindhu so she needs she's, she's probably a little bit better in a little bit slower playing conditions tailored better to her game 
Oh, that's gone wide. Ooh. Well, all of a sudden, it's believable again, isn't it? France, 15. I think Marine has... Um, ...taken the foot a little bit off the uh, gas pedal. Become too content at 15.8. That's yeah. a careless error when you're on a run of four straight points. And it's getting close again. Got to make your opponent play. Yeah, so when, when, you're, when your opponent is at 15, then one point lost is, is more severe than when yeah. they're at 11 because uh, there's not a whole lot of points left. It's gone wide. That's a gift. A gift that she can't so really deep. afford. Oh, let's time that. But apart from these two errors that she committed, Garfunk G's, he's been controlling since 15-8. Um, yeah. That was a golden opportunity for yeah. Garfunk I thought she'd played a winner there. Didn't go off. Another perfect net shot from the left hand. My 13. goodness me, that's quality. Two points away from a place in the quarter final. And to have yet another meeting against Tai Su Ying. They played against each other in the final of the last edition of the China Open here in Chengdu. That's the first bit of follow-up yeah. that we've 14, seen from Galfrey. I can see the thought process, I can see the idea, but I don't know whether it's tension and she just wants this match over and done with. Yeah, but that's missed by a long way. I don't like that shot because it's it's not Marin. It's not her nature. Her nature is full power and then put the next away. And and I mean Play. barring these two errors on the sidelines, she would have been in big problems now. 
Maybe she still is. Yes. Another Bad small point. gift from uh, Golfonji to Marin. And it's match point opportunities. Now this is where I think the umpire should move things along. You know, you're on match point and she wanted to tell down. to the quarterfinal once more the defending champion Carolina Marin 21-9 21-16 42 minutes for the entirety of the match match won by Carolina Marin 21-9 21-16 Yes, the final rally. And the pressure from the front of the court. And in the quarterfinal tomorrow, we'll have a repeat of the last final here at yep. the China Open in Changzhou. Yep. Carolina Marin against Tai Su Ying. That's certainly one to look forward to. Uh, but before then, confirmation once again of the scoreline. 21-9, 21-16 in 42 minutes. Welcome back to Changzhou. Day three of 